What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix the fails to connect to server error you are getting when trying to stream using OBS. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. First, open up OBS and navigate to your settings. Here, in the stream section of your settings, make sure to change the server location to another server, which you have been using until now. Also, make sure that your stream key is correct. On most platforms, you will have to display the stream key before copying it. This can in some cases already fix the issue. In case the problem persists, then navigate to your output settings. Here, set the output mode to advanced, and in the streaming section, make sure that you're using a bitrate which your connection can handle. If you're unsure about your current up and download speed, then visit speedtest.net. Everything you need will be listed in the description below. A normal upload speed without interruption is essential to properly stream on your system. Your latency should also not exceed 100 milliseconds, as this could also trigger the failed to connect to server error. To improve your connection, make sure to use an Ethernet cable to ensure the best possible connection. If you have to use a Wi-Fi connection, then make sure to restart your router or modem if you haven't done this in a while and reduce the amount of devices connected to the same network. You should now be able to better estimate your upload speed. Make sure not to set the bitrate value in your streaming options above your connection's capacity. In case you need more information about these settings and how to properly tailor those to your system, then I suggest following the OBS settings guide linked in the description below. After applying your changes, navigate to the Advanced Settings tab, and here, try to bind your network connection to your IP. This can for some users fix the issue depending on where it's coming from. Lastly, you should make sure that you're using an up-to-date version of the software. In case the program doesn't auto-update, then simply download the latest installer and run it. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.